everybody, my name is Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. And today I have another Alcrate unboxing for you. Um, I am pretty sure that the July theme was Date with Destiny. So let's open this up and see what's inside. There's a little sneak peek. So here's the spoiler card. And yes, Date with Destiny was the theme. So I'm going to set this to the side. And come back to it if I need it. So many little twigglies. <laughs> My cat's gonna love those. Okay, first and foremost, I want to pull this out. This is the next mug in the Kara Kozik Harry Potter collection. This one should be for Half Blood Prince, I believe. So let's get this open. Oh, I love that. There's Fox on it. And there's a dark mark. Harry and Dumbledore with the Ponceve. And there's Harry and Potions. I love this. That is beautiful. I love it. I can't get over this. Kara Kozik is so talented. These are amazing. I have a feeling I know what my favorite item in the box is going to be. Okay, so next... Arrow Paperclip Set. Hope is the only thing stronger than fear. So it's in this little golden tin. And here's the paperclips. That's cool. I homeschool my kids and I need paperclips to hold things together and now I don't have to buy anything. So, so that's great I'm liking some of the useful items that they're putting in the boxes I'm not sure what the quote is from off the top of my head but we'll find out in a little bit next I have this little pouch I like the pouch it's really pretty my kids are probably going to steal it oh and the tag like the tag came off. Foxway Diner Apron. Three hundred Foxway Pancakes and Predictions. Henrietta, West Virginia. I believe this is from Raven Cycle. And I love the Raven Cycle. So, fate is a very weighty word to throw around before breakfast. Yes, I do believe this is from the Raven Cycle. And I love that. The Raven Cycle. I read the first one and I can't wait to read the rest. I absolutely adore it. Um... I'm not sure if I would wear the apron though. I don't really wear aprons, but I might be able to find a use for it. So I'll put that back there. Okay, next it looks like we have some tea from Riddle's Tea Shop. Simon Sour Cherry Scones. I'm not sure what that is from, but it says it's decaf, which is good because I'm kind of off caffeine, kind of, I'm kind of getting back into it, but um, it's got rose hip, El island tea, hibiscus, apple pieces, natural wild cherry, and vanilla, gluten free, sugar free, nut free, dairy free. That's cool. Um, I don't have a thing to steep it in, 
but I've never tried loose leaf tea like this before, so I'm going to have to get um, one of those steepers. But that sounds like it could be really good. So that was from Riddle's Tea Shop. Okay, now I think we're down to the pin. Oh, that's pretty. It says, decide your fate. And the pin is always based on the book that's in the box. So that's pretty. Then that's going to go right up there with the rest of my pins. Oh, I missed a bookmark. Oh, I love this. And I'm going to have to keep it away from my daughter. Um, on this side, it's got Ray. On the other side, it's got Kylo. I absolutely adore this. I love Star Wars. My daughter loves Star Wars. They all love Rey. I personally love Kylo and Adam Driver. He's adorable. So this is great. And I'm going to, like I said, have to keep it away from my daughter. Okay, so now we do have the booklet, which I'll show you the inside in a moment because it does have what the book looked like before. So the book this month is Goddess in the Machine by Laura Beth Johnson. Um, it is signed. Alcrate books are always signed, so that's cool. It's got beautiful gold sprayed edges. That's stunning. Let's see, what does it look like without? It's just purple with some gold. That's pretty. Or some silver. Excuse me. That's pretty. So it says, not only when, when Andrew wakes up, she's drowning. Not only that, but she's in a hot, dirty cave. It's the year 3102, and everyone keeps calling her goddess. When Andrew went into a psych a cryonic sleep for a trip across the galaxy she expected to wake up in a hundred years not a thousand worst of all the rest of the colonists including her family and friends are dead they died centuries ago and for some reason their descendants think Andra is a deity she knows she's nothing special but she'll play along if it means she can figure out why she was left in stasis and how to get back to earth Zade, the exiled bastard prince of Aaron said, has other plans. Four years ago, the sleeping goddess's glass coffin disappeared from the palace, and Zade's devoted himself to finding it. Now he's hoping the goddess will be the key to taking his rightful place on the throne. If he can get her to play her part, that is, because if his people realize that she doesn't actually have the power to save their dying planet, they'll kill her. With a vicious monarch on the throne and a city tearing apart at the seams, Zade and Andra might never be able to unlock the mystery of her fate, let alone find a way to unseat the king, especially since Zade hasn't actually been forthcoming with Andra. After a thousand years from home and a thousand years from home, is there any of knowing is there any way, sorry, of knowing that Earth is better than the planet she's awoken to? That sounds really cool. So I can't wait to read that and the cover is beautiful. And it, com it also comes with an author letter that I like to keep in my books. So I'll put that in there. Now the little pamphlet, it has interview with the author, it has the Alcrate cover versus the regular cover. It looks like the Alcrate cover is more bold in the orange, and I do like that. It's got a fun little word search. It has books if you enjoyed um, Goddess in the Machine. It has a vendor interview. It's got the photo challenge information and it also includes um, a playlist that's inspired by the theme, and this one looks like it's inspired by the Raven Cycle. 
and it has some other releases from this month. So, The Ghosts of Woodsong, Cinderella's Dead, Splinters of Scarlet, Burn Our Bodies Down, and Evercursed. Those actually all sound really great. And then the spoiler card for next month, it looks like the theme for the August box is Written in the Stars. So that's pretty. And then a sneak peek, every August box will include a book sleeve designed by the Quirky Cup Collective. So that's cool. I love book sleeves, so I've gotten two so far, and I really love them. Okay, so now... Let's get into the spoiler card. So yeah, the first thing we have was the mug designed by the fabulous Kara Kozik. I just, I love this. I absolutely love this. I just can't get over it. I was hoping there'd kind of be something with like the liquid luck or something on there, but that's okay. It's really cute. I like it. So next we have the apron, which was designed by Paperback Bones, and it is from Raven Cycle. Riddle's Tea Shop. Oh, that is based on Carry On. I've never heard of that. I'm going to have to look into that. Um, the arrow-shaped paper clips are inspired by Hunger Games. I totally should have known that. And they were created also by Paperback Bones. The wooden bookmark was created by In the Reeds. That's inspired by Star Wars, of course. I didn't realize it was a wooden one. That's really cool. I didn't think it felt like paper, but it was, it's still kind of thin. That's cool. So, yeah. So, that was made by In the Reeds. And then the Goddess and the Machine, of course. It's by Laura Beth Johnson. It's signed edition with a uniquely colored cover, a surprise full design on the naked hardcover, and gold foil gilded edges. And then the book, the pin was created by Jubbly Umph. And it is the main character's starburst birth birthmark. So that's cool. So that's everything that was in the box. My favorite thing is definitely, hands down, the mug. I love the mugs that Kara Kozik makes, and they're just, they're just stunning. So that's my favorite thing. My least favorite thing is probably the apron. Even though I love the Raven Cycle, I probably won't use the apron. I'll tr probably use it maybe as decoration or something, try to think of something else to do with it. Um, but yeah, so that was the Date with Destiny box for July. Um, let me know down below what your favorite item is. Let me know down below what your least favorite item is, if you've got the box or if you just watched my unboxing. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye!